What's up YouTube, Eastern PA Fishing here. The date is September 4th. I got a special video for you guys today. Today, we're gonna go target ourselves some wild brown trout. I'm always on the fence about targeting these fish this time of year, but it has been a little bit chilly and we've had a ton of rain. Anyway, it should be a good episode. We're definitely gonna catch ourselves some wild trout today. I hope you guys all like the content. If at any point in time you do, please scroll down below. Hit that thumbs up button while you're down there. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you did or did not like about this video. Also, if you're not already subscribed to the Easter PA Fishing YouTube channel, what the heck are you waiting for? Do that now. Easter PA Fishing here. You know what it is by now. Let's get right to the fishing. And we made it to the creek that we're going to be fishing today. With all the rain we have, the creek is looking absolutely amazing. I've never seen this creek so high before. I have a real good feeling that we're going to get on top of some trout very quickly. Quick disclaimer before we get this one popping off. This is a very rare find in Pennsylvania. I'm sure a lot of you guys know exactly where I'm at. Well, maybe not exactly where I'm at, but you guys know the creek that I'm fishing. But due to the fact that these trout are pretty rare, and I don't want a whole bunch of people blowing up this spot. I am not going to disclose today's location. If you do know where I'm fishing, don't comment the name of the creek that I'm fishing today down below. I will remove your comment. With all that being said, I hope you are all having a wonderful day. This is the beginning of the trout fishing adventures for the rest of 2021. Have to take a little break there in summer, but we are back at it again. Before I forget, we are using a medium Cast King Centron today. I have a little size 10 Abu Garcia reel on there. I probably should be fishing with something a little bit lighter. A lot of the trout in this creek are kind of small, but I don't think it's going to matter. Now, typically when I navigate this creek, it's so low that I can just walk the entire thing. But today there's like just so many different spots that have opened up. I just want to fish about everything I come across, which I typically do when I'm out fishing for trout anyway. I never know where they're going to be at. I've only been fishing for about 10 minutes. And I've seen a ton of trout already. The spinner probably isn't what they want right now, but we're going to keep trucking with the spinner for now. I'm going to switch it off when I need to. Now, this is a pretty unique time of year for trout fishing. This time of year, a lot of the bigger fish are going to come up the creeks. Unlike bass, panfish, and a variety of other warm water species of fish, trout like to spawn in the fall. So this is the time of year you can catch some of the real big ones because they will be up in these tiny little creeks coming up to spawn. Well, so far we've marked some excellent spots on the way downstream. We definitely hit those up on the way back. I want to catch at least one fish on a spinner. It's just something about spinner fishing. Oh, look at that. What is that, like a, a pelvic bone of a deer? Pretty sweet, it's full. Usually only see them in halves. Yeah, I definitely need to switch up tactics and start catching some fish. Alrighty, the spinner is a great bait for finding fish and catching fish if they're gonna eat it. But they weren't, so I threw on a little three inch Berkeley trout worm, the trout killer itself. Well, alrighty. Man, just look how clear that water is, guys. That is ridiculous. Definitely one of the reasons why it's so hard to catch fish here. But we are definitely gonna catch some fish. Been wasting a lot of time using the spinner, wandering around, talking to you guys. Not saying that's a waste of the time. Obviously, you guys wanna know what's going on. Well, most of you guys are probably watching this video because you're trying to burn me for my spot. Anyway, that's definitely aside the point. Like and subscribe for more. Let's try a little jerk bait. Little Rapala Ultralight jerk bait be exact oh that was a big and just jumped out there there we go first cast fish on there we go nice little wild brown trout look at the colors on this dude that is a beautiful fish absolutely gorgeous there we go, guys. Finally got this one started up. Get him right back in the water. Gotta be careful with these fish. See you, dude. First one of the day. First customer. There we go, that's a nice one. Number two, if we can land him. Has a decent trout. Oh yeah, we've got a nice little jump out of him. Two nice jumps. And he's off. Hey, that's cool though. Getting some action. They want it running fast in this water. Creek's running fast, so are the fish. Now you guys probably hear it in a lot of my trout fishing videos, but as you saw 
did a couple casts there, caught one fish, had another one on, and now I'm moving. That's what you wanna do when you're trout fishing. You don't wanna sit in one spot all day casting at fish that aren't gonna bite anymore. You wanna hit a spot, get a bite, maybe catch a fish, and then keep on moving. It's what you gotta do. Catch a lot more fish that way. Well, I was making my way to a pretty dope spot, but there was some dude there fly fishing. You know, fly fishermen need literally the entire creek to fish, so I wasn't trying to bother him. Just heading back upstream. There's some decent spots that I came across earlier. Also, there are some streams a little further up that I haven't checked out yet today. So hopefully we're gonna catch some more fish. Stay tuned. Pretty much only have one shot at this spot. Oh man. Back to the rooster tail spinner. We are coming to the end of the line for this stretch of the creek. Gonna have to head back soon. Since none of my usual tactics are working, let's try out this little Euro tackle micro finesse crazy critter. 1.1 inches. Freaking ant crawling on my neck. Probably something these fish have not seen before. Let's see if it works. Let's try some mice tails, except we're gonna rip the head off. There we go. Let's try a super tiny Joe's flies. Now this pretty much is just another variation of a spinner, but we might get a different reaction out of the fish. Back to the rooster tail. What a freaking day, man. Only one fish so far. But that is pretty much what you can expect when you come out to a wild trout stream this time of year. Right now, it is a little tough. I'm coming up to a pretty decent spot. Was a guy fly fishing here earlier, so hopefully he's moved on since then. I think he was just literally standing there for hours, not catching anything. Yes, he did move on. And this is a spot I've been wanting to hit all day. That dude was standing here for a couple hours. Pretty sure he put quite a bit of pressure on these fish. Oh, that was a nice bite though. Maybe he was just sitting there wasting time, wasting my time. Not the most exciting episode, guys. I feel like I was just wandering around talking a whole bunch. Not really catching a lot of fish, but it is still summertime. It's definitely not a good time to be targeting these fish. There's Farmer John Fly Fisherman. A little Rapala jerk bait, little three inch might be super big for these fish probably is oh there we go yes number two finally almost forgot to wet my hands so excited there we go there's another just like the other Two in the bag, not a bad haul for this time of year. I know you guys were probably expecting me to come out here and catch about nine or 10 trout, like I typically do, but this is definitely not gonna be one of those days. At this point, the GoPro is getting pretty low. We're about down to a quarter of our charge. I'm just kind of walking back and forth in between good spots. Hopefully I'll come across another fish here and there. Well, everybody have come quite a way and I've seen quite a few fly fishermen along the way. Almost every one of them has given me like a funny look or some type of like dirty look one way or another. And I think that's due to the fact that I'm using spinning gear which actually is permitted here. So they can't really say anything when they see me. You know, I'm sure they'd like to, but I mean, honestly, half you fly fishermen look like you guys need to take showers. The people that fly fish this creek act like they own the place. We are finally coming up on my favorite spot to fish at this creek. Every single time I come to this hole, catch myself a nice fish. Hopefully we can repeat that process here today. Hopefully we can catch one more trout before the GoPro kicks the bucket. Definitely in my opinion, probably the best spot around here. I think one of the reasons for that is that this spot really doesn't look like much, but it's actually pretty deep right over there. And a lot of trout like to hang out in this spot. There we go. Just switched up. Right away, we got another trout. Trout number three, we can land him. Dang, dude. Jerk baits are where it's at today. That is a buzzer beater fish, guys. Another beautiful wild trout. Man, I love these fish, guys. There he goes. Number three for the day. Looks like I probably should have just kept a little ultralight jerk bait on all day long. Well, let's keep fishing. Maybe we'll get one more before we get out of here. Well, we have about 10% left on our GoPro charge, so we gotta try to catch at least one more fish and then we're gonna film a little outro and head on home. Come on, trout. Make this easy for me. 
There it is. <laughs> oh man, he was listening. I told him to make it easy for me. And there he is. Number four for the day. What a buzzer beater. We might be down to the last 10% of our GoPro charge, but this fish definitely gave it 100%. Another beautiful wild brown trout. Not a bad haul at all. There he goes. Well now, that was actually pretty surprising. Wasn't really expecting one on that cast, but that is super cool, because now we have a little more time to fish before I gotta film that outro. Keep trucking downstream as long as we can. There we go. Oh no, I lost him. That was a nice and, oh man, that was gonna be a last cast wonder. 